What's up guys, this is Osas from iOS Softmodder and I'm going to be showing you how to get iOS 7 style themes on your iOS 6 device. First thing you're going to want to have is a jailbroken phone, Cydia, winter board, and we can get ready to go. I'm going to actually show you how to get the things that are missing from the theme before you install the overall theme. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and get NC settings. And you're going to want this for the con control center style application. Control center is a new feature in iOS 7 that allows you to control widgets right from your notification board. So in order to do that, we're going to need to install NC settings. So just go to Cydia and we're going to just search for NC settings. Now I already have it installed, but I'm just going to show you. Actually, that's not the actual. It's actually this one. NC settings, there's no space, so NCS and then eddings for those of you who are visually inclined. You're going to install that. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install Live Clock. iOS 7 also has Live Clock finally, which is something that we've all been waiting for. So I'm going to head back into Cydia. Should let it finish downloading. All right, so click in live clock. And you see it right there. Just click on it, install, and then you're well on your way to an iOS 7 device on your iOS 6 iPhone. So after that, we're going to also want to, shouldn't even leave, we're also going to want to install signals and bars. Um, instead of the normal vertical bars, they actually um, are using horizontal dots. So for that, you're going to want to search, just type in signals, if I could spell that would help, signals and bars. All right, there it is. You're just going to click on that and then install it. And then after that, we're going to want to install calculator for iOS 7. So just type in iOS 7 calc. You see right there, calculator theme. You're going to click on that. You're going to install that. And now that we've installed all the things that the iOS 7 theme is missing, we can now install the iOS 7 theme. So we're just going to search for iOS 7 theme and we're going to want to select that first one by PW5A29. We click that, we install that. And now that all that stuff is installed, we can go to Winterboard, select themes, and then we're going to turn on the bars, bars and thing. I have a uh, iPhone 4, so it's going to be 4 if you have a 5, obviously select 5. Status bar, Spring Bird, I don't have Siri, so I'm not going to select that. Notification Center, Messages, Lock Screen, Icons, and Folders. We're going to get back, we're going to respring. Alright, there it goes. And there you have it. You can see the new folders, they're gray, they're not black anymore. Uh, settings has a new font. Alright, there you go. You can see new icons. And here's calculator redesigned. It's pretty cool. Um, and one more thing if you want to actually have the complete iOS 7 version on your iOS 6 device, you're going to want to download by default from the Cydia store and this allows you to change your fonts on your iOS device. So with Bytefont installed you're going to go to the Cydia store and search for iOS 7 font. And once you find that just click on it, install and then you're going to go back into Bytefont and select iOS 7 right there. Respring 
bring out the weight again, and then let's go to settings just so you can see the font. It's basically just not as thick and looks a little bit better, in my opinion. I have to wait for it to load again. And why you can see the, the signal bars right there, just dots. And there you go, there's the iOS 7 font. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to SoftMiter and check out the food tutorial. All right.